The origin of the universe is a topic that has intrigued humans for centuries. Today, scientists have developed several theories that attempt to explain the formation and evolution of the universe. The most widely accepted theory is the Big Bang Theory, which suggests that the universe began as a singularity. A point of infinite density and temperature, about 13.8 billion years ago. This singularity then rapidly expanded and cooled, creating the universe we see today. The universe is composed of various elements, which can be classified as either light or heavy. Light elements are those with low atomic weights, such as hydrogen and helium. While heavy elements have higher atomic weights, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron. During the Big Bang, only light elements were created, with the majority of the universe consisting of hydrogen and helium. However, heavier elements are believed to have been formed later in the history of the universe, through processes such as nuclear fusion in stars and supernova explosions. There are also other theories of the universe, such as the steady-state theory, which suggests that the universe has always existed and will continue to exist indefinitely, and the cyclic model, which proposes that the universe undergoes an infinite series of cycles, each beginning with a big bang and ending with a big crunch. Overall, while there is still much we do not know about the universe and its origins, the various theories and observations we have made so far have helped to deepen our understanding of the cosmos. Here are some additional trivia about the origin of the universe and the elements that make it up. 1. The term, Big Bang, was coined by astronomer Fred Hoyle, who initially used it as a way to ridicule the theory. 2. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe began as a singularity that was infinitely hot and dense. 2. This singularity was not a point in space but rather the entire universe compressed into a single point. 3. The cosmic microwave background radiation, which is a form of radiation that permeates the universe, is considered to be one of the strongest pieces of evidence in support of the Big Bang Theory. 4. The lightest element, hydrogen, makes up about 75% of the universe's elemental mass, while helium makes up about 25%. 5. Heavy elements, such as gold and platinum, are believed to have been formed in the collision of neutron stars, which are the collapsed cores of massive stars. 6. Elements heavier than iron are typically formed in supernova explosions, which occur when a massive star collapses and explodes. 7. The elements that make up our bodies, such as carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, were formed in the cores of stars that eventually exploded and spread their contents across the universe. 8. The study of the origin and evolution of the universe is called cosmology. 9. And it is a branch of astronomy that seeks to answer some of the biggest questions about our existence, such as how the universe began and what will happen to it in the future. The idea of atoms and elements has evolved over time, with numerous scientists contributing to our current understanding. Here's a brief overview. 1. The ancient Greeks were among the first to propose the idea of atoms, as early as the 5th century BCE. 2. Philosophers such as Democritus and Leucippus suggested that all matter was made up of tiny, indivisible particles called atoms. 3. It wasn't until the 18th and 19th centuries that the idea of atoms gained widespread scientific acceptance. 4. John Dalton, an English chemist, proposed that elements were made up of small, indivisible particles called atoms, and that different elements had different types of atoms. 5. He also suggested that atoms combined in simple ratios to form compounds. 6. In the early 20th century, scientists such as Ernest Rutherford and Niels Bohr began to study the structure of atoms more closely. 7. Rutherford's gold foil experiment showed that atoms had a small, positively charged nucleus surrounded by negatively charged electrons. 8. Bohr proposed that electrons existed in discrete energy levels around the nucleus, and that they could jump between these levels by absorbing or emitting energy. 9. Over time, scientists discovered more and more elements, leading to the creation of the periodic table of elements. 10. Dmitry Mendeleev is credited with developing the first periodic table in 1869, which organized elements based on their atomic weight and chemical properties. 11. As more elements were discovered, the periodic table was refined and expanded. 12. Today, our understanding of atoms and elements has continued to evolve. 13. Scientists have discovered subatomic particles such as protons, neutrons, and quarks, and have developed theories to explain their behavior. 14. They have also created synthetic elements that do not occur naturally in the universe, expanding the periodic table even further. Of course, 
Here are some fun and interesting trivia about atoms and elements. Hydrogen, the lightest element, is also the most abundant element in the universe, making up about 75% of all matter. 1. The element francium is the most unstable and rarest naturally occurring element on Earth. 2. It has a half-life of only 22 minutes and is produced from the radioactive decay of other elements. 3. The element carbon is essential to life on Earth, as it is the basis for all known forms of life. 3. It is also the fourth most abundant element in the universe. 4. The heaviest naturally occurring element is uranium, with an atomic weight of 238. 4. It is commonly used as a fuel in nuclear reactors and is also used to make nuclear weapons. 5. The element helium was first discovered on the Sun before it was discovered on Earth. 5. It is the second most abundant element in the universe, after hydrogen. 6. The rare earth elements, which are a group of 17 elements with similar chemical properties, are not actually all that rare. 6. However, they are difficult to separate and purify, which makes them valuable in various technological applications. 7. The element mercury is the only metal that is liquid at room temperature. 7. It is also highly toxic and can be dangerous to handle. 8. The element sodium, which is found in table salt, is essential for maintaining proper fluid balance in the body. 9. It is also used in many industrial applications, such as the production of soap and paper. 10. The element gold is prized for its rarity and beauty, but it also has practical applications in electronics, dentistry, and medicine. 11. The element carbon has the ability to form long chains of molecules, which makes it the basis for many important organic compounds, such as proteins, DNA, and plastics.